All right, guys, so now we've got our bow perfectly timed. Uh, we've got a few accessories on here, so we're gonna go ahead and get into our tuning process. We're actually gonna shoot through paper here. Um, so we're just gonna start out, uh, we're starting at three feet here. I'm gonna go ahead and let an arrow through and see what we got. All right, so um, right now, basically, it looks like we're just about perfect uh, left and right, but we do have a slight tail low. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and move back over to the base and we're gonna accommodate for that, and we'll come back and double check everything we did. All right, so we obviously had a slight low tear there. Um, so what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go in and move the rest. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna move the rest down just a little bit, it should clean up that tear. Uh, same thing, if you, had a, if you had a tail high tear, you'd wanna bump your rest up just a little bit. If you had tail left, your rest is gonna go to the left or rest to the right. Uh, certain bows, there'd be other steps that you could possibly take before moving the rest, um, but because we do have a straight up vertical tear on this, we're gonna go ahead and adjust it the rest first. So we're just gonna bump our rest. Now, a big thing on here when you are paper tuning is you do wanna do very, very small adjustments on these, basically to the point that you feel like it wasn't gonna make too much of an effect. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna bump about a 64th of an inch to begin with. So just bump our rest down slightly. And we'll go ahead and tighten it down. And we're gonna grab our arrow and go back to the paper. All right guys, so we've moved our rest down by 64th of an inch. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and shoot through paper and see if we took care of our low tear. So it looks like we still have just a little bit of that low tear left. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do one more adjustment real quick and see if we can get that finished out. All right, so that last adjustment we did got us pretty close, but I want to do one more final adjustment. So we're going to go ahead and again, drop the rest just a little bit. Uh, again, we're just going to do a real small adjustment, go about 64th of an inch this time. Got that tight, so we're going to go and back, move back to the paper and see what we're doing. Uh, one thing to keep in mind as you guys, if you're doing any paper tuning at home, um, is that any type of like form issues, especially torque, are gonna become very apparent when you're shooting through paper. Uh, so it's, it's very, very, very important to make sure you're not torquing. Uh, one trick I've done in the past with guys shooting through paper is I've actually had them close their eyes and shoot through paper with their eyes closed once they're comfortable on there. Uh, one thing I've noticed a lot of guys tend to kind of get overexcited to see what kind of tail they're gonna get, so they'll actually shoot and drop their bow at the same time to see, um, which can obviously cause some, some weird issues. Uh, so the main point there is just make sure we're focusing on the best shots you can possibly do through paper. That's not pretty much got us right in the ballpark. Uh, that's something I'm gonna go ahead and roll with for now and I can move outside, start doing the walk back tuning and eventually start throwing broadheads on, which are gonna be kind of the telltale sign of where things are looking at for tuning. Uh, and again, like I said, after we get 50 to 100 arrows through this bow, we're gonna come back and kind of recheck everything anyways. Uh, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on getting things exactly perfect here now. I mostly just wanna get everything set so I can start shooting the bow and get everything kind of broke in and, and really start diving into everything. All right guys, so as you can see through paper, um, we finally got a good tear through the bow. It took three arrows, um, but we're happy with everything. So now we're actually gonna move on and, and get into some other steps for the tuning. Um, again, if you guys have any questions on this process, particularly with the paper tuning, make sure you drop any of your questions down below in the comment section. Uh, then make sure, make sure you also hit subscribe on there. What that's going to do is send you an email every time we release a new video. So throughout the series of this bow build and also any new hunting films that we may have coming out.